Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So by now, I guess you all are aware about the fact that the upcoming CSINET exam is going to be merged one. That means they are going to merge CSIR December 2022 exam and CSIR June 2023 exam and they are going to conduct it all together. Now there are a lot of questions which you guys must be having in mind. Uh, a lot of questions I'm getting in the comment sections. A lot of emails I'm getting so I thought of making a video where I'm going to discuss about these things okay first of all we'll talk about that what exactly made uh, CSIR to merge this exam or basically why this exam is being merged okay according to what CSIR might be thinking there is no of official uh, you know explanation of it but what I understand I'm just going to explain you on that behalf Second thing is some FAQs which you guys have along with it means uh, like uh, what could be the number of seats then uh, uh, whether uh, the exam is going to be tough or easy. So based upon all these things we are going to discuss in this video. We are going to talk about the things based upon the other exams which have been merged uh, based upon the previous CSI records based upon what CSI tweets. So I'm going to talk about all these things in this particular video. So let's continue with it. Uh, basically CSI tweeted about this that they are going to merge CSIR June 2023 exam and CSI December 2022 exam all together and they tweeted about it few months back and I made a video that time itself regarding what could be the uh, like good things about it and what could be the limitations or bad things about this particular merging of exam I'll give you a link of that in the i button you can watch that video if you want but here I'm going to talk about uh, in a summary form so basically how it started okay so it all started in 2020 uh, year 2020 so in 2020 uh, covid hit and from that time itself the cycle of the exam was you know shattered because uh, before uh, 2020 we used to have two csi net exam uh, one used to be called csi june exam one used to be called as csi december exam corresponding to the year which it is being uh, held and every year you, every year we used to have two exams right but it changed in 2000 20 uh, as covid first wave came uh, form filling of 2020 june exam already started in the month of march and people started filling the form of it but the exam kept on rescheduling because of the covid and the pandemic and uh, the exam kept on rescheduling 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 and at the end it happened in the month of november with so much precautions and you know when the uh, when the lockdown and other things were relaxed a little bit at that time it was conducted so in 2020, we only had one exam that was CSI June 2020 and it happened in uh, November 2020, all right. Now they didn't mention anything about CSIR uh, December 2020. So there was no mention about it. But uh, when we came in 2021, again, we know that the second wave of COVID came and that was more devastating means the second wave was more, uh, you know, in the terms of casualties and in the term of how it hit the country, it was more uh, intense as compared to the first wave. And because of that, in 2021, there were no CSINET exam. So in 2021, we didn't got any CSINET exam. So basically, CSIR December 2020 exam was uh, pending. CSIR June 2021 exam was pending. And then CSIR December 2021 exam were pending. So there were three exams which were pending by the end of 2021. In 2022, CSI tweeted that we will conduct three exams this year this, uh, just to maintain the cycle because if you want to come back to the uh, regular cycle, you have to do something. You have to, uh, you know, you have to come back, you have to conduct exam more frequently. So they uh, said that and they conducted one exam in the month of February uh, 2022. So there was one exam in the month of February 2022. That exam was called as CSIR uh, June uh, 2021 exam. So uh, they again missed CSIR December 2020. So there was no mention about it. So after uh, that in the month of February, uh, we were expecting that the next exam will be in the month of June or July in the month in just, just four months. In order to conduct three exams in a year, you have to conduct exam after every four months. Then only you can conduct that. But CSIR again failed in that. And the next exam which happened was in the month of September 2020, which was the recent exam. 
and which was the last exam basically and that exam was called as CSIR June 2022. So CSIR missed uh, December 2020, CSIR missed December 2021 exam. So two exams were missed and now uh, like uh, we are in 2023. So CSIR basically also missed CSIR December 2022. So December cycle exams are being missed from 2020, 2021 and 2022. So in order to come back to the cycle, CSIR said that let's forget the previous thing, whatever happened. Let's forget CSIR December 2020. Let's forget CSIR December 2021. Let's focus on CSIR December 2022. And let's merge it with the upcoming exam, which is going to be CSIR June 2023. So now they have said, they have notified, they have made notification. They have actually tweeted a few months back, but that time I said in the video itself that I don't believe in them unless and until they uh, make some notification about it. So now they have notified that yes, uh, they are going to merge the exams of CSIR uh, December 2022 and CSIR June 2023. So that's what they have said and they are going to conduct that on the month of June of 6th, 7th and 8th are the days which they have uh, scheduled the exam as of now. So what was the need of merging this exam? It is quite clear. They are already running behind. They have not uh, done all the exams in the cycle. They have missed two exams. But uh, they, in order to come back to the cycle, something they have to do and that's why they have merge these exams okay the, there were only two ways one was either to merge two exams or the second way was to conduct three exams in a year they tried they, i don't know they even tried or also or not but they they mentioned in 2022 that they will do that but they didn't do it in 2023 at least they are merged it and now probably the next exams will be in a proper cycle that means after this we will be like we will be expecting csir december 2023 then csir this uh, june 2024 CSIR December 2024 and so on. So we are expecting that the cycle will be maintained after that. So that is the sole motive of merging these two exams just to come back in the proper cycle. Now what are the implication of this merging? Okay, the first and foremost implication which happened was on the majority of the students which were on the verge of their age limit. That means general category male candidates they have an age limit of 28 years in order to give this exam. OBC category has a relaxation of three years. SCST candidates has a relaxation of five years. For women candidate also there is a relaxation of five years. That means their age limit is up till 33 years. So any student who is at the verge of their age limit, that student has suffered because they were able to get less number of exams. They were able to attempt less number of exams during these years. Although they have increased the age limit for the exams, they have given a little bit relaxation, but uh, a usual trend, a usual way of giving exam twice a year, two opportunities a year, that didn't happen. In the last, if I tell you, since 2020, there were there were only uh, three exams which happened and per year it is like a yearly exam now, which used to be a bi-yearly exam, right? Uh, so that is one thing that means the number of opportunities has been decreased. So that is one thing which has happened till now. but. Let's assume, let's expect that the upcoming exams will be proper, the cycle will be proper and we won't be uh, having this type of, uh, you know, uh, this type of uh, irregularity in the exam and we will be having a regular cycle of the exam from the upcoming year. So that is one thing which happened. Second thing is, uh, they have not even focused on the number of JRF till now, okay. Uh, that means if, let's say, they conducted just one exam in the, in the year, 2022 that means let's say if they have conducted one exam in the month of February 2022 they didn't increase the number of JRF the number of JRF in that time was also around 4000 which used to be usual number of JRF which every uh, e every exam cycle or every year which used to be happen so earlier every year uh, there used to be 7000 JRF uh, every year means when two cycle like that means December and June when two exams used to be conducted there used to be total 7,000, around 7,000, 7,500 JRF which used to be happen every year. But after this thing, that means after this single exam started happening in 2020, then in February 2022 and then in September 2022, there were only 4,000 JRF which, which they produced. So they didn't increase the number of seats as per se, okay. So we only got around, uh, you know, we only got around 12,000 JRF. We were, although we could have got around 21,000 JRF based upon the usual trend which used to be followed, provided 7,000 JRF every year 
which we used to get. Year means two exams I'm combining and telling that. So when two exams are being merged, so the major question is that whether the number of seats are going to be increased or not, whether we are going to get more number of JRF this time or not, whether December 2022 and June 2023 exam are merged, so should the number of JRF will be increased or not. So technically it should increase, but there is no mention about it neither on the official website, neither in the information brochure, neither in their public notice. So it is not mentioned anywhere. Okay, so it's totally dicey. It's totally in the court of CSIR. They can do anything at the end of the day. They can, they cannot increase that or they can increase. It's, it's totally up to them. But if I would be one and if I, what I want, so I will definitely want that if the two exams are being merged, so the number of seats should also increase and uh, because the candidates will be more this time, right? Uh, every time because the number of candidates are quite high. So they should increase the number of seats. That is one thing which I would expect. And if you look upon UGC net exam, which was merged earlier, so there the number of seats were increased. Okay. So uh, considering the same thing, if it is implemented by CSIR, so they should increase the number of seats. So that is one thing which I am expecting. But uh, officially there is no notification about it officially there is no tweet about it there is no mention about seats anywhere neither in the uh, neither in the public notice neither in their brochure nowhere okay if anybody found something related to it please let me know in the comment section but i couldn't find anything about it now the next thing is whether the exam will be easy or difficult see every time every year csi net exam is becoming a little bit tougher on the on, on a little bit of on the tougher side why is it so because the competition is increasing so if the competition is increasing, if the examiners are also trying to make exam a little bit on the trickier side so that uh, it becomes, you know, competitive enough for students and they can also scrutinize good students out of all, right? So that is the reason why they are making exam a little bit on the tougher side. So don't expect, that's, that's the one thing that if you are preparing for the exam, if you are a student, if you are aspirant, you should always be prepared for the worst. So don't expect the exam will be easy or the level will be uh, less. Don't expect like that always be prepared for the worst okay be prepared for the toughest exam you have time you have enough time to prepare you have enough time to study you have enough time to you know brush up your things uh, like give the test series prepare yourself to the best of what you can so do that and uh, try to give your best and don't expect the exam will be easy or something okay you have to be prepared for the toughest exam which is going to be conducted so these were certain questions which I thought were there in your mind and you a lot of questions I was getting in the comment section. I thought of making a video uh, where I could discuss about it. Do let me know if you have some other questions related to CSI net exam. I'll try to make a video on that uh, in the upcoming days. And that's all from my side for this particular video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then have a great day. Bye bye. Take care. So if you are preparing for the upcoming CSI net exam which is going to be conducted in the month of June, we have technically three months for that. This is the best time when you can take an academy plus subscription for three months so an academy has recently launched a subscription for three months for an amount of 6988 rupees this is the price for three months subscription in this subscription you get live classes you get all the previous recorded classes along with that you get access to all the previous years questions you get access to a lot of mock tests you get access to uh, doubt clearing sessions you get access to a lot of notes all the notes which are available on the unacademy platform so all these things you are actually going to get in this particular price point so in case if you are preparing for the exam and you want your preparation to be excelled from others it's the best time when you can take a three month subscription from an academy the link is there in the description of this video and you can use my referral code while taking the subscription that is an underscore huda in case if you are planning to take uh, to give the next csi net exam which is expected to be in the month of december 2023 in that case again an academy has bought a nine month subscription for you so you can take that subscription today itself and you can prepare for the ne next nine month and you can excel from others so join an academy now take the subscription using my referral code link is there in the description and i will see you in the next one